and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. My name's Rebecca and I've got some goodies to share with you today from DIY Digital Art. So we'll go for the one that you can partly see first even though this is a long one uh, but we are very much on a Christmas in October um, so this is a 30 by 60 and I thought this was just a lovely sort of different um, Christmas image. Um, it is like a tall one so it would work very nice on one of those awkward walls in the house. Um, sometimes we do, we do just have those walls where it's like, do you know what? What is supposed to go there? Quite often in the hallway. Um, but yeah, I thought this would bring a nice pop of Christmas. Just to turn to the side, you do get most of the image in the shot when I turn it the other way. Just might miss a snowflake smidge or two uh, but we've got a really really nice pop of red with these gorgeous snowflakes on the background um, the background has a lot of different colors in it to help make up those snowflakes if you have a look there is quite a bit of sort of confetti in those parts even the bell itself has quite a bit of confetti especially round by the shading but then there is a little bit of block work too uh, it's down as a 30 by 60. The actual size is 25 by just short of 55 is the actual size of it. You do get a toolkit and then of course you get the diamonds. It is in rounds. It does have the MC numbers and there are 22 colours in total. But this is, see, you've got some of these purples that help make it up, the beige. Of course, we do get a few shades of pink and darker red. A little bit more hot pink. Ooh, where does the hot pink type go? So that's 11. That's le Oh, so that helps in with this shading. Is some hot, hotter pink or, I mean, it's not even a strong hot pink, is it? But uh, we've got some greens, grey, beigey colours. Peaches, uh, some really nice darker reds. Then we do have your nice sort of true red. That is the, the main sort of brighter part of the bell. But if you put that one with that one, you can see how it still keeps the red tone, but just shows it a bit duller. And then of course some white, which helps to make up those snowflakes and some beige brown. So really nice colours um, to put together that one. So that's number one, is the bells for Christmas. Let's have a look what I went for for number two. Oh, I think it's time to get the scissors out. Just to cut through that tape and get into this little bag. Did I go all out Christmas? I think I may have done. Uh, I think this may be just a Christmas episode from DIY Digital Arts, but this one is a snow globe. So we've got a Christmas tree in a snow globe. The snow globe looks like it is stuck in some snow, um, just to add that little bit of extra. It is 40 by 50 centimetres. And the actual diamond painting area is 34 centimetres by just short of 44 centimetres. So you have got six centimetres from the border. It is 23 colours. Uh, it does have DMC numbers and it is in round. Uh, but I love the details of the bows and stuff on, you know, the Christmas tree. Uh, you do get a toolkit. And here's your diamond colours. Now, what may seem a little bit confusing, but will actually make sense when the picture's made, is the white 
or what looking very white is actually this very very light grey uh, is 762 makes a lot of this background up but it's amazing how once you put it next to a lot of darker colors it looks whiter uh, so we do have some dark colors but then we do also have some gorgeous pops of green uh, red purple some beautiful blues a little bit more purple um, so yeah quite a nice selection of colors but it can be very surprising how white a gray can look when it's placed around all those colors i mean it already looks quite light it does just look more like a gray when you put it next to white and um, so yeah that's the colors for that one so that's number two and then number three i'm pretty sure i went for an off the canvas item something a little bit a little bit different. Christmas is a great time for off the canvas items. There are so many out there. And this one is a bit more winter than Christmas. Um, but you, it is basically a very, very big keychain. So you get a keychain with it in your toolkit. But of course, I would say it's more something to hang up. Uh, it is a rhinestone piece. It is one sided. So you just do this side uh, and it is a cross, but it has snowflakes all over it. I thought it was really, really pretty. Um, this one is done with rhinestones. Uh, there is a mixture of styles and sizes. So to show you them all, so we do have some white pearls. Then we have a few different shades of blue for the little rhinestones. They're the same size as diamonds. We do have some more white pearls as well. So maybe there's not enough in that one bag. Then we have some blue, bigger rhinestones, some small silver or clear rhinestones. Oh, the button ones, they look like buttons to me, little buttons off kiddies cardigans. Uh, so we have some little button type ones, iridescent um, shapes. Then we have some teardrops in a gorgeous teal colour. I'm not sure if that's coming across, but that's beautiful. And then we have some bigger pearls in the white. So lots of gorgeous whites and blues make up um, this cross and then you do get a key ring to pop in the hole at the top so that you can hang it up on something if you wish. So a little bit more winter than Christmas. Uh, you could class the bells as more winter uh, with the snowflakes. I suppose it just depends on the way you look at it. But I will pop links to all of these down below of course so that you can have a look. Have a browse, there's quite a few different um, off the canvas and acrylic type pieces that you can decorate if you just want some more hand created ornaments or maybe you just want some fun crafts to do over Christmas. Um, do check out the what I like to call off the canvas items uh, because they're not on a canvas, they're on something else very original um but yeah thank you so much to diy digital art for letting me have a browse and pick some amazing items i would apologize for christmas in october but i'm not gonna um i think craft wise we do need to start preparing in october um in fact I start prepping for Christmas often in June, but that's just due to getting stuff ready. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy these Christmas diamond paintings. Uh, I'll pop links, as I say, down in the description below in case any of them take your fancy and you can add a bit of diamond sparkle to your home this year. I'll speak to you all again soon.